Hello, Secret of Our This is here, and uh, I got a micro grant a few weeks ago to go to the first European conference of Burning Man in Berlin. It's a three days long conference, about 120 participants from all around Europe and some of them from the US, kind of like a, a ROI connecting point. And I wanted to share with you two things I learned and new activities that you can do in your own community or your own conferences. And also uh, a thought that crossed my mind about what we can learn from the similarities of the ROI network, TED network, and Burning Man. So uh, uh, two activities that we did, one of them is an icebreaker, a nice one, because you get people from all around the world that don't know each other or uh, holds similar roles in their communities, but don't know, actually know each other and need to connect and create. Um, so one activity we did, we call it a gift or inspiration. Uh, in that activity, it goes for about 10 minutes. You find someone you don't know, and a lot of people you don't know, and then introduce yourself and learn who is the other person you standing in front, and then share with you one gift that the best gift that you ever received and the best gift you think that you ever gave. Um, and the uh, other thing you share with them, and then you trade gifts, and the other thing you share with them is what is the last thing that inspired you, either professionally or personally, and uh, it's a great, nice little icebreaker activity. The other thing we did, uh, we call it World Cafe. I think in ROI we call it an open space. It's basically you take 10 main topics, either from outside the conference you want to bring in into the conference, or topics that comes rise up uh, throughout the conference. And you give them these activities or these topics, you give them 10 different leaders. Uh, and then you break into groups of 10, uh, into uh, four different sessions of uh, 10 minutes each. So you have 10 people talking about some topic and then rotate goes to another topic that's interesting for them. And then after 40 minutes, the leader of, of uh, each topic goes into the main hall, comes into the main hall and explain everybody what are some of the main issues and main ideas and things that came into these like small think tanks and brainstorming of 40 different people on 10 different topics. One of the things and the last thought I had in that conference is that there is a lot of similarities that we can see in the ROI network or TED network or Burning Man network. There is a ma one main event and around it there is small communities that either gather around uh, some uh, main topics like in TED it's education or medicine um, or makers, stuff like that, or around TEDx's, around small different locations like TEDx Jerusalem Live that's going to happen tomorrow. Um, the same with Burning Man. Burning Man is a network of 120 uh, different regionals around the world. Some of them are really small. Some of them are growing up, like Africa Burn or Midburn. Uh, the Israeli community, we are after two unofficial events. The last one was in between 14 to 1800 people that arrived to a three days event and we're heading into our first official event at the beginning of June in uh, the south of Israel. Yes, more Jews wandering in the desert. So when we're thinking about these similarities, we can learn a lot about developing our own project, our own community, either for some of the communication skills and how do they work, some of the needs of the, the, uh, the communities that bring up and how do we manifest it either in activities or uh, communication or conferences or the way we do things. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the micro grant and uh, burn you later. Ciao, ciao.